Alright, today I'm going to show you how to set the timing on the, uh, this is your big, your table drive wheel. You got, uh, you got this chain that goes down to your actuator for your sweep arm that drops the sweep arm. Uh, that's how you check your timing out. Which you, uh, the position we go for is you want to have this chain, while it has the sweep held up, you want to have it centered between both of these bolts right here, this bolt and this bolt. And I'm going to take you up top. I'm going to show you how that's done. All right, so I've got all these motors are on the seven pin side of the machine. I'm just climbing forward here. You can uh, place your hand on the wheel. You got your uh, back here at the rear end of the machine at the rear. You've got your table motor. I'm going to lean against the wide shaft. You got to make sure you know which, uh, which bracing and shafts you can lean across in here. You don't want to bend anything up. Uh, I'm leaning across the wide. It's probably about a two inch shaft that actually uh, goes to the sweep. Very strong, very rigid. Uh, you wouldn't want to be against that if the machine is moving, it does rotate. So, I'm going to lean forward here. And I'm going to pull the table motor to myself towards the front of the machine, towards the left side of your screen. While I still have one hand on this wheel, uh, you have to remember the table. The only thing holding the table up is the table motor. It has a brake on it. So if you just pull against the table motor and release tension off of this, this wheel, the table is likely to drop down. Uh, you may be lucky and it will catch on the stroke limiter or it could go all the way down. Nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and grab the motor, pull it towards myself, and I'm going to rotate the wheel slowly while looking down this side at the chain I showed you earlier in this video to line it up between the two bolt heads. This is the easiest way I've found to sight it in and set the timing. So I got my hand on the wheel on this black gear, the pulley wheel, and now I'm going to pull tension towards myself off the table motor. It didn't take much. I sighted it in that straight down. I'm going to bring you over here and I'm going to show you what I, the, the way I looked at it to figure it out. All right, so coming across. There's the wheel that I rotated, uh, that I put my palm on so it didn't drive fast. There's the table motor. And we're going to look right over the side here. Try and go slow. Down that chain. See that, that, that uh, eccentric wheel? And you look right down the chain on it. Try to get you in the position real slow here. There we go. And I centered it up between those two bolt heads. All right, that's that's where you got to get that centered first. Then we're going to come across here, bring you back, try not to make everybody sick. Okay, now you've got your your cam switches here, all your magnetic switches on your switch cluster. Okay, next step you would do. Let me see if I can get you down here. Let me see properly. There's a timing switch on here. You've got your uh, you got your A switch. Get down here where you can see it. You got your A switch, your B, your C, and your D. And they they are labeled in the plastic mold. So if that's not easy enough for you, uh, but what you'd want to do is look at your magnetic timing cam, which is on this rod right here. Right there is the uh, it's the magnet, it's uh, the plastic clamp. There's a magnet down here in the bottom of it. You would want the flat spot of that magnetic cam to be on the highest peak right in the dead center of your A switch. So I could rotate this one just a little, not much. Uh, they do move fairly easy. Don't over tighten your screws back. It just needs to be held on there. There's not really... There's really no force against this that would move it much. So don't over tighten this screw. It'll end up cracking out the back side here if you do tighten it down too much. And then you have to get another new one. So I rotate a little bit, and it is right on the peak 
of that A switch. So that is how you set your timing on your the big table drive wheel gear for your system so that it will uh, work at the right timing. If things are off, you can have uh, some issues, and usually a lot of error code 76, which is your spotting tong switch. I'll give you some information on that in another upcoming video. And the next, and uh, that is the end of just timing out the table uh, drive itself for the entire GSX pin setter system.